assessment of safety and risk how to assess this safety and risk and uh, here the relationship between safety risk cost and price has been listed tabulated so this side it is risk and here it is safety safety is high safety is low high safety low safety likewise high risk and low risk factors are considered and <clears throat> It has been compared. Now let us take this first quadrant where the safety is high and risk is also high. See if the risk factors are very high in using a product, if the identified, see, uh, as we told, as we have learned, uh, the very first step in incorporating safety into the design is defining the problem, which is nothing but listing out all the safety issues related to design of that particular product okay so if there are many safety issues if there are many risk factors involved then what we will do in order to reduce all the risk factors we will be inc incorporating some safety measures into the design of the product so we will be incorporating we will be investing more on incorporating safety into the product which results in high cost of the product here there are two terms mentioned one is high cost and high price. What is the difference between cost and price? Can you give the difference between cost and price here with respect to this? What is cost and what is price? Yes. Can you make out the difference between cost and price? No one is there. I'm How can I differentiate this cost and price? Um, one is uh, from the company, ma'am. Hmm. And one is for the customer, ma'am. Yes. Which is for the company? Cost. Cost is, cost is for the company. Cost is the um, amount that is invested by a manufacturer in developing a product. That is called as the cost. And price is the amount that a customer is ready to spend to buy a product so if more risk factors are involved if the risk is high definitely we will be incorporating more safety measures into it for which we have to spend a lot so this results in high cost cost will be high and because of the cost that the manufacturer invested is more its price will also be high okay next let us take this example low risk Risk is low, but we have incorporated high safety measures into the design. Though the risk is low, we have incorporated, we have spent a lot to incorporate <coughs> say, safety measures into the design. So in this case, cost will be high, price will be medium. Okay, And uh, let us consider this case of low safety and high risk. Risk is high. But though the risk is high, we haven't taken steps to incorporate safety measures into the design. We are not, we, are, we don't want to spend much to incorporate safety into the design. Just we want to test whether the component or the product meets the specification or not. And we are not spending much about the uh, safety, much for safety. So it is high risk, but safety, it is low, low safe. Then in that case, how will be the cost? It is mentioned wrong here. Cost will be high. In this case also, cost will be high. It may look contradictory. Price will be less. Because we have not invested much. So price will be less. 
but why the cost is mentioned high here any idea now in this case the risk is high risk is high if high risk factors are involved definitely we have to spend a lot in incorporating safety into the design but here it is mentioned that safety is low that is we haven't spent much on incorporating safety concepts into the design that is why it is mentioned as low safety but risk is high in that case what i say is the cost will be high price will be less i'll give you the reason for this also because if you take cost there are two types of cost one is called as primary cost the second one is called as secondary cost primary cost we all know how much a company has spent in developing that particular pro product along with the design how much they have spent on raw materials for labors everything that is called as primary cost and secondary cost is the cost that is invested that by a company for warranty issues okay for uh, retaining the customer's goodwill for all these also they have to invest something they have to go for some advertising of the product is it not they have to insure that particular product for insurance how they have how much they have spent all these are called as secondary costs okay so if you consider our case the primary cost in this case will be very less it will be less because though there are risk factors involved we are not spending much on the safety concerns so primary cost will be less now since the safety measures has not been incorporated into the design it it is going to result in very high risks when a person or a customer uses it so within the warranty period it may fail it may burst it may lead to some explosion some accident may happen so it has some warranty issues and since within the warranty period the product has failed to meet out the safety definitely the company has to spend they have to replace the equipment or they have to um repair it and give or they have to replace the component or product completely to the customer so we can say cost wise it is high which means the secondary cost is high primary cost will be low whereas the secondary cost in this case will be high okay that is what is mentioned here and if it is low safety and low risk definitely it will be low cost and low price for high safety and low risk it will be risk is low but we are incorporating more safety measures so cost will definitely be high and medium price will be there so this is the relation between safety risk cost and price is it clear yes ma'am yes this is how um, the total cost is determined here you have a graph which is plotted between risk and cost to manufacture what is the risk involved and what is the cost to manufacture okay and there are two segregations two sectors here one is low risk and high safety second component is second sector risk high risk this is high risk and low safety so when risk is low and we are incorporating more safety measures into the design which cost will be high primary cost or secondary cost definitely the primary cost will be high because we have to spend a lot on incorporating the safety concepts so primary cost in developing the product will be high in this sector when risk is low and high safety primary cost will be high likewise when risk is high and low safety measures are incorporated as i told you in the previous example when risk is high but safety concept is not incorporated into the design then the company has to spend a lot on secondary cost like meeting out the warranty issues or retaining the customer's goodwill or insurance insuring the product so here in this sector the secondary cost will be high 
it is going to be high in this sector okay and the total cost as we all know total cost of the product it is nothing but primary cost plus secondary cost and this total cost this is the total cost curve and this total cost is found to be minimum at this point m where you can see both primary and secondary cost are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction okay <coughs> this is how we can make an assessment of safety and risk 